Hey everyone, uh, today's SSS VEDA question is who would you love to have coffee with and why? Um, I don't know, there are a lot of people I'd love to have coffee with. Um, I don't know if the stipulation is living or dead. Uh, there's a guy named Norman Brulog who, uh, he probably saved more human lives than any other person who ever lived. Uh, he did a lot of genetic engineering on, uh, uh, you know, food plants like wheat and that kind of stuff. So he, he genetically engineered them so that uh, poor people could grow them in climates that were hostile to growth, mostly drought resistant crops and stuff like that. But he's been credited with saving over a billion lives, maybe a couple of billion. Seems like an interesting guy to have coffee with. Um, yeah, there are, you know, all kinds of uh, innovators and uh, you know, movers and shakers, you know, there's a, a, I don't know, it'd probably take a lot for me to turn down coffee with someone. In fact, um, I had, uh, you know, occasionally I'll just go and kind of set up and announce a uh, lunch or coffee where pretty much anyone who follows me on social media is welcome to attend. And, um, you know, so I've had all kinds of interesting conversations with people like that. Uh, most of them have been philosophically related um, or political philosophy related. Um, and they seem to have been pretty popular events because, you know, especially on the, the, some of the ones that ended up being larger, like 10 or 15 people, uh, it wasn't just me there. So it was kind of just a lot of like-minded people, a lot of open-minded people who were interested in talking to other people. So I've seen some, you know, maybe not solid friendships yet, because these were pretty recent events, but, um, you know, some pretty good um, acquaintances have been made at least, and uh, maybe some of those will develop into friendships. Um, as for me, uh, I'd love to have coffee with uh, Stefan Molyneux. He's a philosopher on, uh, he has a YouTube show that is kind of a podcast, and he just has a really interesting conversations with people. It's really interesting to me that a lot of the uh, the people I've met through SSS VEDA, they seem to have some kind of background in psychology or, uh, you know, I think a lot of the people in are involved maybe have some kind of interest in marketing, which also has a heavy basis in psychology. And um, that to me uh, kind of parlays into, you know, philosophy and, and other things as well. Uh, that could just be my opinion. But anyway, uh, yeah, I'd be really interested in talking with him about uh, some of his approaches for interviewing people, some of the ideas he've, I've heard uh, discussed in the show that, uh, that uh, maybe I'd like some clarification on, stuff like that. So, uh, you know, he's someone alive and I know it'd be an interesting conversation. So that's why uh, I'd like to have it. But, you know, he's in a faraway city. Now, uh, he does accept donations to fund his program, so I would imagine if I donated handsomely enough, <laughs> he would probably be willing to have at least coffee. Um, so I'm not, I've uh, made some pretty serious donations to political candidates over the years, so uh, serious to me, not on the scale of American politics. Um, but uh, I've also met those people, uh, at least as long as it would take to drink a cup of coffee. So uh, I think that's kind of achievable. So, you know, if there is someone that you'd really like to meet uh, and uh, they're working on some kind of project that they need funding for, whether it's getting elected or uh, trying to get a podcast off the ground, like maybe they need a piece of equipment, um, if you really want to talk to them enough, you might try donating something to them and uh, they might take an interest in you. It's kind of interesting too because uh, there are some groups that I've uh, donated to in the past and they just always seem to have questions for me on, you know, for past donors on, on how they can improve services. So, I don't know. Money talks, I guess. Uh, but anyway, yeah, that's, you know, their coffee. I, you know, an interesting story. I actually uh, met my wife in uh, online and I met her for the very first time uh, in a coffee shop uh, in her hometown. And um, it was very interesting because we, um, I mention it because when I have coffee with someone, kind of like when I 
do a vlog entry. Uh, it ends up maybe turning out a little longer than anyone planned. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we, we ended up uh, meeting around, uh, I don't know, five, six o'clock at night. Gonna have just a quick cup of coffee and we ended up chatting about stuff uh, that turned out we had a lot of mutual interests, a lot of overlapping friends and all kinds of stuff. Just a lot of small world conversation and uh, we ended up closing down the coffee shop. Um, and uh, so they were kicking us out and it was like, oh wow, how long have we been here? And uh, I don't know, I think the date ended like at some time, like three or four in the morning or something. We were just talking all, you know, the whole time. So yeah, I'm a bit of a talker, but at least my wife knew that when she was getting into things because <laughs> she, <laughs> that first date should have been a hint that I like to talk about things. So anyway, that's, uh, that's it for me. I can't wait to watch your videos and see who you would love to have coffee with. And uh, if you don't do SSS VEDA, but you'd like to have coffee with someone, be sure to mention in the contact, uh, comments. I love uh, reading through those and responding to them. So uh, that's, you know, that's it for me today. And uh, just be sure to like and subscribe and uh, I'll see you tomorrow.